Hello, Philly Maker here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play A Timely Intervention. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. So, I've got a feeling I'm getting towards the end of this game now. Some parts of this can be pushed down almost like keys on a keyboard. Keyboard? Why would they have left a place to put their keys? Not that sort of keyboard. I'll explain later. Derwin, can you read what's when? I can read it, but it makes no sense. They're just numbers and symbols. Read them to me anyway. I spend all day looking at numbers and symbols. You should see the code of some you should see the code some of my colleagues write. If I can sort out their mass, I can sort this. I think I've got it. Now what? We wait to see what happens. You don't have to wait long. Look up there. I don't like the look of that. It is faster than it was. I think the colour is different. If it wasn't before, what is now? And uh, being close to the end of the game means we're probably close to the final boss. I don't think any creases that there are left are going to like this very much. Does anyone else feel odd? Or is it just me? Waff, waff! Thank you for growling so I don't have to. Something is horribly wrong. I don't like this one bit. Yes, I uh, had a feeling. Okay, this might take a while. It might take more than one try, but never mind. If I fail, I start again. Where are we? In the realm of the ancients, the place their power came from. The artifact would have been left with minimal protection. Nothing physical harms at all. It's going to be hard work then. Nothing physical, no. But, magic might do it. Trouble is, I don't want one of the random foes to be the artifact, because I have no idea what it will do to me. I don't know if him does a physical attack or not. I suspect it will counter-attack. This is something I'm not keen on. How oh, confusing it's useful. Oh, it blocked, but it didn't counter-attack. It's bleeding, which is going to hurt it. Unless the artifact can bring them back to life, where well, it's possible. It'd be a pity when some of them can't do anything because they don't have any magic attacks. But never mind. I 
I don't know what keeps restoring my TP, but I'm completely cool with uh, my TP being stored, so... I guess I'm just going to have Alfreda do uh, her magic on that thing since that's all I can really do against it. Anyway, Freckwing Flame seems to be alright, so... I destroyed the artifact. I got a feeling that's not going to be the end of the game though. Do not think you can now rest. We are still in danger. Is egress still blocked? No, not anymore. Then let's get moving. Did that building just move? I'm not sure. It could be that we. Okay, time has changed. That does make sense. I mean, who knows exactly what it is that's, that's caused things to become how they are. Let's take a short break. We could all do with the rest. If this were Final Fantasy game, this would be the point where we find out that we're actually only halfway through our quest and we're about to go into another world. Um, in which we have to do basically a v something very similar to this for another 20 hours. It's good to see you awake. I won't ask you to try and talk, you're probably too weak. I can a little. Good. I know you'll be worried about your injuries, but I know just the healer for you. Thank you. I got Kate. I expect she'd like to speak to you. So I thought I could still serve Rimmer by educating people in how to have industrial development in a sustainable way without too much pollution. That seems a, good, a great idea. I hope I'm not interrupting, but Dylan has woken up if you want to speak to him. Alright, thanks for letting me know. She's all enthusiastic about what she's going to do with her life now. And you? I don't know. It's not obvious what I can do or where I can go. Um, no rush about this, but if you want to spend some time so that we can get to know each other better, perhaps you'd like to think about spending your life with me. Uh, if you want to, that is. Do you know something? I think I might just do that. I'm not promising anything, but we can see what happens. <laughs> and whether I have a caboose. What I was thinking was seeing High Priest Hodrick and suggesting to him that the shrines become centres for learning for people. I'm sure Lot would like to be able to read and write. I can help teach them that. That was an excellent idea, and they could learn other things too if the Shrine Council helps. Oh, something I was wondering is can Shrine Priests marry? Yes, they can. Why do you ask? You never know when bits of general noise like that can come in useful. 
If we go to the eastern province first, I can show you around. You get some sun, even in winter. I'd like that. Have you ever thought of seeing what worked? There might be in Atavik. It's even hotter there. Go wherever you want to. See the whole world. Explore every land. Yes, yes, yes. Do you know something? All the time we've worked together, this is the first time I've seen you smile. I've had time to think. I've learnt some things. Good, because to be brutally honest, you would have made a terrible leader before. Now you might be alright. You are usually right. And you, Leofric? I should still join the army. I think a man of my talents would be at home there. I think that's true. Now then, straighten that back. You mustn't get dependent on that stick. It is there to support, not replace your legs. That's better. Now try again. Not bad, apart from that one little hesitation. Now go back and we'll do it again. And straighten up that back. I'm fine with starting small. I've got to learn how to teach. And next year, when the new school is built, we'll be better prepared. If Alyssa can work out how to do a simple printing press, we might have some books by then. I hope she succeeds. I could do with some books with pictures to show people. Dewick should have finished his afternoon sleep by now. Come and meet him. There he is. Let's hope he hasn't sold it yet. If he has, it could be anywhere. He's not had much time, and he knows he won't get a good price, price here, so we should be in luck. We certainly had a lot of luck lately, so here's hoping it continues. While I stroll around looking casual, you go left and come up behind him to block his escape that way, then I'll move in. Consider it done already. But sir, the man is an insubordinate menace. If there's any way to avoid a buying an order, he will find it. Which is why we need him. We need someone who will do things differently if we are to get this idea of army mages to work. We cannot rely on a man who always does things the way they have been done in the past. Lord Quinner would never have agreed to form a division of army mages. Lord Quinnett is no longer with us, and we'll do things differently. Now get this Leo frickin' post by tomorrow. That is an order. Yes, sir. Have you had enough time to know what you want to do now? I'd like to stay with you. I'll try to make you happy. You already have. Good day, Professor. Staring at Jalun's statue again, you seem fascinated by it. You're a historian. Aren't you fascinated too? Here we have the founder of modern, modern Rimmer, and yet we know so little about him. We don't even know where he was born, what he did as a young man, how he met the people who became his unofficial council friends. I must admit, I give a lot to know what happened at that time. So much is obscure to us with poor records. Do you really want to know? Would you like to be able to go back and observe what happened? Of course I would. Then I may be able to help you. I have had a breakthrough in my research. I believe I'm on the brink of being able to do just that. Let me tell you about it as we walk to work. I have most of the details worked out. I'd like to hear about it. Does the project have a name? I have had a moment of vanity and named it after myself. It is the Marlon Project. So the Marlon Project would have happened anyway. Hmm. Okay. Nice pictures. A little crude maybe, but, uh, but quite nice actually.
So, guess this is it. That was kind of a disappointing final boss. I mean, all we really got was some, some ordinary, uh, ordinary fighters and this thing that's mean to magic, but otherwise, basically the same as ever all of the other creatures. In fact, I think the the normal um, enemy troops we fought before the final boss were um, uh, were worse. So. Uh, some very hard, um, ordinary enemies at the end. Anyway, uh, there we go. Um, it could have been a bit harder, I admit. Although, uh, there were some times when I died, but yeah, on easy that would have been far too easy. But, overall, I liked it. Uh, good music, could have been a bit more variety in how we fought the bosses, but good variety of enemies, interesting characters. I guess history is changed for that now. Also, there's a spike called Death Swallow. I don't know if I'm going to skip over any of this or not. I probably shouldn't. These are the people who work hard on this. That's oh, good to sew them off. The script is by the people called Messiah and Evil Eagles. I'm guessing some of these are not people's real names. I don't really have anything else to say about this game. It's been fun. Don't know what I'm gonna do for the next last fight. And thank you all for watching, if indeed you did. I'm quite glad this doesn't have multiple endings, because they were doing pretty rubbish to get the bad ending on this game, I think. And that's it for this Let's Play in this game. 